All right, so starting us off this weekend on Thursday night at 7.50 p.m., we've got the Roosters versus Storm at Allianz Stadium. Both teams just scraped over the line in their games last weekend. Both won by two points, and Storm won again with a late try. And I think for the Roosters, having a few people out due to injury and concussion has definitely affected their results recently. Melbourne have totally dominated this fixture in the past. They've won 29 of the 48 games played since 1998, and they've also won eight of the last nine. Although, I think I'm going to have to take Roosters in this game because they were getting Tedesco, Sam Walker, and Samden Smith back. Also, Storm have played in a, a lot of tight games so far this year, and all of their wins have come at home, and the one game they played away has been a loss, so I can see Roosters overcoming the Storm in this game. Then on Friday night at 6pm, we've got the Dragons vs Warriors at Wynn Stadium. Although, Dragons have had the dominant history in this fixture, um, the Warriors won both games last year, including a 48-18 convincing win at Wynn Stadium. Warriors are coming into this game in some good form. They've got three wins in a row and the draw they had against Manly last weekend. Dragons were able to beat West last weekend, but it didn't look very convincing. Neither team really played overly well last weekend. Overall though, Warriors have only won two of the 13 games they've played at Wynn, including the win last year. But Dragons have been very hot and cold so far this season. I'm going to have to tip the Warriors here. Then at 8pm on Friday, we've got Eels vs Dolphins at TIO Stadium in Darwin. Eels won the only match between these two teams last year, 48-20. And I think this is the type of game that could go either way. Not actually being at Combank Stadium does kind of affect the Eels a bit. I think I'd have a bit more confidence in them if they were playing at Combank. But I think being at TIO Stadium instead, I think that gives Dolphins more of a chance. And although the Dolphins did lose to the Broncos last weekend, I think they have been the better team coming into this, and so I'm going to have to tip the Dolphins. Then first up on Saturday at 3pm, we've got Panthers vs West Tigers, which is at Carrington Park. Um, the last two games between the Panthers and the Tigers have both been very close, and West actually won the last game 12-8, with the Panthers winning the game before that 18-16. Uh, Panthers have also been very prone to conceding a few more points this year than they have in the previous few seasons. Uh, so that could definitely make this game very interesting. I can see West being up to the challenge, but after last week's performance against the Dragons, I just can't tip them. And I think Panthers, on paper, are definitely the better team. So I'm going to have to tip Panthers uh, to win this game. Then at 5.30, we've got Titans versus Seagulls. And I think this game is going to be super interesting because Titans were able to fight back last week against Canberra in a game that they should have been nowhere near it. Canberra was definitely the dominant team last weekend, but they just didn't take their chances and they just kept letting the Titans into it. And although Titans weren't able to win, it was definitely a good fight back from them. These guys have a very even history, uh, 14 wins to 12 in favour of the Sea Eagles. And Titans were able to also win the last two meetings between the sides. I think in this game, I'm going to have to tip the Titans because I think they're going to come into this game with a bit of hope and momentum after being able to fight back against Canberra. And I think they will, they'll want to come back home and show their fans that the start of the season is not the the way they're going to be playing the rest of the season. I also just don't trust Manly away from home. They sort of let it slip a little bit last weekend against the Warriors. I believe they were either 16 or 18 nil up and they let the Warriors back into it. All right, and then at 7.35 on Saturday night, we've got Broncos versus Raiders up at Suncorp. Interestingly, Canberra have won four of the last six games against the Broncos and they also won at Suncorp last year. However, I'm going to have to stick by what I said last week when I said it is hard to beat the Broncos at Suncorp. And the Raiders also didn't take control of their game last weekend against Gold Coast and they really let them back into it. They were definitely the better team against Gold Coast, but they just didn't make it show on the scoreboard. So I think Broncos are going to be too good for them at home, especially. All right, and then starting us off at Sunday at 2 p.m., we've got Bulldogs versus the Knights. And Bulldogs are actually playing quite well this year. Um, they've been able to keep it pretty close with good teams as they showed last week against the Storm, taking them right to the very end where Storm had to score a late try to overcome them. Overall, the history between these two have been very tight. From their previous 44 games, Knights have won 22 and the Bulldogs have won 21. And the Knights absolutely flogged the Bulldogs last year, 66-0 and 42-6. However, I don't really see that happening this year. I think I'm going to have to take Bulldogs because they're at home. And both teams have been a little bit up and down so far this year. They're both coming into it with two wins and four losses. So I'm going to have to take Bulldogs at home. All right, and then to finish the round off at 4pm on Sunday, we've got Sharks versus Cowboys. 
and I think Sharks will win this one. Coming into it, Sharks have won 10 of the last 11 games against the Cowboys. Out of those 10 wins, only two were by less than 10 points. So it's been a pretty dominant display in recent history by the Sharks. To make it even worse, Cowboys have also only won six of the 20 games they've played at Shark Park. So I think Sharks have to win this game. 